And that is it. That is it. Full time. Full time. Wasn't easy in the first half, but it's all over Crystal Palace to match the city four. Me, match the city four. Two goals for Kevin De Bruyne, one goal for Lewis, and one goal for Haaland. Look, in the end, it was comfortable, but it was not a comfortable first half. I mean, the first half was very competitive. There could have been a penalty being given for Crystal Palace that would have made this game 2 1. But after that, I think the second half. Crystal Palace just completely collapsed, completely collapsed, and Manchester City just cruised in that in that second half and completely dominated them. And look, they deserve to win. Obviously, obviously they deserve to win. But this is the table now. This is what we're looking at. This is what we need to see. It's up to Liverpool now to extend the lead. Manchester City have won their game, 31. Play, uh, played 31 games, 70 points, tied with Liverpool. But Liverpool do have one game in hand. Arsenal, of course, coming up later on today against Brighton away from home. That's going to be an interesting matchup. We will try to be live for that match as well. 68 points for Arsenal. They must win their game. So it's toe-to-toe, -to -toe, really. Liverpool, City, and Arsenal is going to go down to the wire. It's going to go all the way. It's going to go all the way. But as for, as for this game, really, I predicted it was it would have been, I mean, it would be a 3-1 win for Manchester City. And it's 4-2 win, really comfortable match for Chris uh, for for Manchester City in the second half in terms of possession you can see completely dominated them 76 percent to 24 percent but the amount of chances being created in this match it wasn't a lot Manchester City still don't look like they are 100 percent if they play like this against Real Madrid uh midweek I think they will get beat they need to up their game. I know they've won this game comfortably, but Real Madrid is, is just a different animal and they can't afford to make mistakes that they have made in tonight's, in today's game. Rodri was making a mistake. Stones making a mistake. Really, really sluggish uh, uh, start uh, in, in this matchup and they can't afford to start like this against Real Madrid. So that's going to be their next matchup. As for Crystal Palace, the next game is against Liverpool away at, at Hanfield I think they're going to go away from home so that's going to be a difficult matchup for Crystal Palace as well but decent efforts from Crystal Palace in the first half but second half just class difference class difference they just can't contain Manchester City they sat back they sat back and finally just got cut wide open it just got cut wide open uh man of the match who is your man of the match let me know in the comment section who's your man of the match but I'm going to go with K KDB two goals in this matchup not just easy goals I'm not talking about tap-ins I'm talking about two wonderful goals here from Kevin De Bruyne in this matchup and one assist it has to be man of the match he has to be man of the match but yeah guys thank you all for watching make sure you join us later on today Brighton versus Ars uh, Arsenal watch along make sure you join us for that one but yeah guys thank you all for watching make sure you smash a like on the stream and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel. And drop your favorite emoji, whatever, in the comment sections. Man of the match. Thoughts about this game. Who's going to win the league? And let me know in the comment sections. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.